Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing great today. Now in today's lesson, we're going to learn how to download and install a special software known as WinSCP. Now WinSCP is a software that enables you to copy a file from your host machine to your Linux virtual machine. Okay, so let's see how to download. Open your browser and then just type WinSCP. And then you get to the official site to download WinSCP. Click on it and then just come here and download WinSCP 5.19.6. So your download will start shortly. And then when this is done, just go ahead and click on the file to install. Click on install for me alone. Go through the license agreement and then accept. Then choose typical installation. Click on next. Leave the default initial user settings as commander. And then click on next. Then go ahead and install. Now, when you get this message, click on no. It's asking you if you wanted to import your sessions from your party client. Just click on no. And then click on finish. Now you can see the WinSCP has been installed successfully. And this is what the interface looks like. Okay, so. The panel you're seeing on the left is actually for your host machine, your Windows machine. And then the panel to the right is your Linux machine. So you can actually move files from your Windows machine to your Linux machine just using the WinSCP. So the same way you imputed your host name or IP address for your Party client is the same way you're going to impute the same details okay for the win scp so once again i'll come back to my linux machine and then try to log in now you have two options you can either use your host name, in which case you type the command host name to reveal your host name, which is testdb.com, or you can use your IP address, in which case you just type if config to reveal your IP address, and then copy your IP address, and then come to win SCP, paste it, your username should be Oracle. And then you type your password. Now you can save this connection. So the next time you don't have to type all of this. Um, let me save it as Oracle and then say OK and then log in. Wow, wow, wow. Once you get this warning sign, go ahead and click yes. OK, so it's authenticated now. So to prove this to you, let's try to do this. So I'll go to my Windows machine and then I'll create a new text file. So I'm here, new. Text document. So I'll name it. Timmy.txt. And then I'll try to type something on it. This is just a test file. And save. Then I'll come to my WinSCP software. Okay. And then, and then I'll come here and click on desktop. Now, this is the text file that I want to move. Okay, timmy.txt. I'll come here, open my desktop. This is my Linux machine. 
I'll now simply move this from here to my Linux desktop and then click OK. You can see it's here. So if I go to my Linux machine right now and then open my desktop, you will see the text, timmy.txt. If I try to open it using a text editor, you see what I type. This is just a test file. So this is how you use the Win SCP software. I hope this video was interesting to you. If it was, kindly like it and share it. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell icon so you don't miss out whenever I upload a new content. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.